All right, welcome back to Skipper's Dream Room. This is Jazz Hands. So, sorry for the bad setup here and the bad lighting. Skipper's Dream Room is enormous. As you can see, it takes up an entire card game table. So, uh, I'm kind of futzing it up as it is. Anyway, so Skipper got her very own invite to go to the Dream House. I'm not sure where it, here it is. Come to my party. There it is again. Got her invite. And so did the Lika Chan twins, but they overshot their time travel adventure to 1966. So they uh, made it here to Skipper's dream room. Skipper will show them the right way to get to Barbie's dream house tomorrow. In the meantime, Skipper has to get dressed for the party. So these two are gonna play with the new Barbie dream house. That's a little miniature that comes with this particular play set on this little play mat over here in the corner. So off they go to goof around with that toy while Skipper here is going to get dressed in her Halloween masquerade outfit. So this is a masquerade outfit. Back when I did my interview video, I when I talked to what's her name, Carol, I think is what her name was. Uh, she, uh, I asked her one of the questions was, why didn't Easter Parade sell very well? And she said that the only reason Easter Parade didn't sell, in her opinion, was that... Uh, it had the name Easter in it, so everybody waited until it was Easter before they bought that particular outfit, and it just sat on store shelves. So Mattel didn't really do holiday-themed sets in the event that somebody would really want one for a specific holiday. So uh, this isn't an actual Halloween outfit, although it could certainly be used for that, but it's called Masquerade, and this one's made for Skipper. So because it's a masquerade, that means it could be used for just about any party occasion. So we're going to start with some panties, which look kind of like granny panties. They're in good condition, but I don't think the stretching portion of it works anymore. So they just kind of slide on. And just kind of hang out there without any real support. A uh, Harlequin style dress with uh, fluff, and it used to be sparkly, I think, but the sparkles have long since faded because this came out in 1965. This is an original. This is a vintage doll with a vintage outfit, too. And it's really cute. I never got it because I thought, eh, what is, what, <laughs> excuse me, what is the big deal with it? But it is completely adorable. So we got that on. We have two shoes. These shoes are supposed to have a little yellow palm on them, but they get lost pretty frequently because they were just glued on. So I don't have that. So this isn't a completely perfect set, but you know, it's pretty good for what we have. It came with a little almost piece of cardboard mask to wear, so we're gonna slip that gently on her face so that she can actually wear it for her masquerade with Barbie and Ken and the rest. Let's see if that'll work. Nope, it's gonna put it right over her hair, I think. Otherwise it won't stay. There we are. Oh, who could that be? <laughs> That's so confusing. And then finally, she's got a little hat. And this does coordinate with uh, Barbie's outfit and with Ken's outfit, which you will see tomorrow on Halloween for the Halloween party that they have to go to. So that is super cute, completely adorable. up a little more. There we are. A junior fashion for Skipper. And it came with this little invitation too. The invitation is one of the hardest pieces to find because it is just a piece of paper. You can get uh, reproductions of them online. It's pretty easy to tell if it's not a reproduction because the paper has yellowed pretty significantly over time. So uh, yeah, that's everything that came with the outfit, minus the little palms in the shoes, so that, that would make it a complete and vintage set. But Skipper's all ready for the party, and so are Lika Chan 1 and Lika Chan number 2 over here. So all three of these girls are ready to go off to the party with their invitation in hand. Can you hold it for me? Of course not. There we go. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Halloween and hopefully you'll be here to see the Halloween party I have planned with all the dolls. Until then, we've got Lika, Skipper Lika, and we'll see you the next time on Jazz Hands Doll Channel. Bye.